right now you are pretending to be divya the body mind the mother yes, yes, the daughter yes. the sibling that level there is no pretense i am being the conscious and i'm recognizing that the body mind operates automatically as the mother as the daughter as the sibling as the friend right so the body mind is doing its thing automatically i the consciousness i'm not doing anything anymore now i see it like a game i don't see it like a game when i become the mother i get frustrated my son did this to me my daughter said that to me that time i've become no, really I become yeah i have I've, become the body mind ha ah, only in few moments when the whole scene is over and you are really out of that scene moments you come to the consciousness and that's when you feel yeah i was pretending do you get it so the pretense is in being the mother in being the daughter in being the sister and then getting involved and pretending to be the doer of that action or pretending to be the experiencer of the situation that is a pretense this is not a pretense no i agree that mm. getting into the role is a pre- pretense mm. like listening to you right now uh, as a student of advaita mm. is a pretense yes yes i, I get that yeah. what i'm saying is why you know sometimes you feel like why do you need to pretend that's exactly what i'm saying don't pretend okay you've become very confused you are thinking i'm telling you you the consciousness have to pretend i did not say that i'm saying you the consciousness do not have to pretend okay you the consciousness have to recognize that the body mind works automatically you are pretending that, you are pretending that i am working okay that is the lie yes you are pretending that i am doing you are pretending that i am experiencing that you are not experiencing it you are not doing it you are the awareness in which this little action this situation has just emerged it is an abhas just let it play it will go now in that play this body mind has a role it's going to automatically play if the kid is hurt this body mind which is the mother of the kid is going to go and put the bandage you can't say i'm go- i'm dispassionate i'm brahman i will not put the bandage on the kid no i, I am not going to pretend to be the mother because i'm not the mother now you've gone totally tangent no no yeah no i'm Divi, i did not i know i know i know the way you get it but i'm just clarifying for the whole group yes now this is another tangent if you go on oh i am brahman i am not going to take care of the kid i am not going to cook from today food is going to appear to me because i am brahman finish now you gone on to some other tangent you are not on the path of direct experience anymore <laughs> i don't know which path you are on <laughs> figure it out <laughs> wake up shake up again come back okay recognize where is the pretense I am pretending to be the mother of the kid. I don't have to pretend. Take the step back and notice the body mind does what it needs to do to take care of the kid. I am separate from the body mind. Has this distinction happened? Yes. Ha, huh. so that that's where now we I told you from this chapter on you have to work in detail now. chapter 1 to 13 was just like a quick run through it was at a very superficial level glimpses you got now we are working on detail points in every chapter you'll have detail points to work on this now recognizing who oh, am the consciousness i am the awareness in which this situation has come up I don't need to pretend the body mind is automatically going to do what it needs to do for example right now divya is asking this body mind the question and this body mind called ekta is answering divya i am standing beyond and noticing this happening 
I am knowing the answer exactly at the moment the words are coming out of these lips and Divya is knowing. I am not speaking right now. Do you get it? I do not pretend to be the teacher anymore. When I recognize it. When I forget this stand and I again become the teacher, then I am pretending. Understood? Similarly, if you forget your stand as the consciousness, become Divya, the mother, then you are pretending. Yes. Yeah. When you take the step beyond, you notice, oh, everything happens on its own. I was lying to myself till now. I was fooling myself. Now let me just see the world happening on its own. It's a projection, my projection, not somebody else. I cannot blame somebody else. I don't know if somebody else even exists. My projection. Just watch it at play. Just watch it at play. So the example I gave you, how you play with the little kid and have fake coffee. Notice the body-mind playing in the world, doing its thing. That time you are not indulged. There are no emotions. You are totally dispassionate, detached. A Sangha. This is Sangha. This is A Sangha. Clear? Everything happens anyways. It's like a program code. It's going to happen. But now I am A Sangha. I see it. It's all like a game. I'm playing alone. I don't have an option. Yeah, I guess that was my point. Mm. It, it's just that, why Why is that? You know, why Why you don't? It's like, I'm trying to stop the projections, which is not going to happen. No. <laughs> so, You're yeah. stopping the that, projection. Uh-huh. You're stopping the projection because you think it is, I am suffering. It is causing suffering to me. I am suffering. That is why you want to stop the projection. If you see it all as a game, all as a play, then there is no desire to even stop anything. Even the desire to stop, I want to stop it. Means I've forgotten that I have awareness or consciousness. Again, I have become the body-mind and I want to stop it. There is resistance. Ego has come up. It does not like something, that's why it wants to stop it. No. When you're a Sangha, there is no question of wanting to stop anything. It doesn't matter what is, is. And it's all okay. Do you understand? Yeah. 